Good morning everyone, it's The Wanderer, and this morning I am stood outside one of my locals. It is called the Victoria Cross. It is a Green King, and I know I should stray away from big chains, but this one is a really, really nice place. Now, the Victoria Cross, when it first opened, it was originally named the Trooper Potts, named after the only man in Reading to receive the Victoria Cross. Now, of course, the name changed a couple years ago, but the spirit of Trooper Pots is still inside. They do some great drinks, they do some great food, and I'm on my way in there now to show you around, show you what it's like. You know, as far as chains goes and uh, pub food goes, honestly, it's one of my favourites. So with that being said, guys, if you are new, don't forget to click subscribe, like the video, click the bell to be notified as to when I upload. And with that being said, let's make a move. Yeah, right there, my lovely. Uh, table seven. Can I have a mini mixed grill, peppercorn sauce, and yeah, and uh, two Carlsbergs. I'll be naughty today. Why not? <laughs> Day off. Can recover tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I will. All right then, guys. So you've seen the place. You've seen the decor. Honestly, I really, really like it here. It's a good vibe, positive vibe, and I love all the the memorials to what I'm sure was a very, very great man. And it's, you know, fantastic honor, I guess, to have something named after you uh, like this. Went for the mini mix grill because I don't think my stomach can handle the large mix grill. And trust me when I say the mini is still large. Ordered at 20 past 12 on the dot. Service, I'm gonna give a five, but I know the lady here. We had a really good conversation. Something I really shouldn't be filming because, um, you know, I, as I say, I sort of know her in a sort of personal sort of way, so there are things you don't need to hear. <laughs> Service five, am I being naughty for giving it? You know, at the end of the day, yeah, she may be friendly, but she was very friendly, so anyway. With that being said, guys, it's 20 past 12. It's 10 p.m. somewhere in the world. Okay then guys, it's arrived. As I said, I ordered it at 20 past 12 on the dot. Well, I hope you can make that out. 
because it is now half past 12. That is 10 minutes, and that is a 5 out of 5 on the time. And it's so inviting, it looks really good. But I can't take any bites until you get your eyes. So here we go. So you see what I see about Mini, I mean the regular one includes a, a proper steak, you know, which you can have done medium rare, well done, you name it. I went for the Mini for reasons, because look at it, that is not Mini at all. Um, went for peppercorn sauce as well, I have to say, um, peppercorn sauce, funny story. I really only was introduced to it about a year ago, I wasn't sure, you know, I'd never had it before until about a year ago. First time I had it. I remember the um, peppercorn sauce coming onto the coming onto the plate, and I just looked at it. and I thought, you know, I've never ever had it before. I, you know, and I'm and as I'm saying that, I've never had it before. I'm drizzling it on everything like so, and this might be a sin in someone's eyes. Only realising you've never had it before, you idiot. What if you don't like it? It's all. Thankfully, I loved it, <laughs> and um, it's a staple ever since. Some people might not put it on everything, but I do because I'm weird like that. Right bit of barbie sauce on the, some of the meat as well. Now, presentation. I'm going to rate the presentation based on how it looked before I splattered it with sauce. And I really liked it. I think everything looked in the right place. Everything was put in neat and tidy. Nice little gravy boat for the old peppercorn sauce. I think presentation-wise, I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a four. I'm going to give it a four on the old presentation. So, <clears throat> let's not delay it anymore. Let's go into some taste. Now, we'll start off with... Um, with the peas, we'll start off with some peas. Peas are good, peas are good, I mean, really nice flavour. Last time I had the peas from here, now, I don't know if they used a different one, but the peas were the only thing that used to let it down, they used to taste like, a bit like paper, but the peas today, really popping in the mouth. No, really good improvement on the peas today. Let's get a chip that's not been drenched in sauce. Mm. Not a bad chip, not a bad chip. A um, bit crunchier than I like. If you see my fish and chip videos, you know I like them soft outside, soft inside. A bit crunchy, but pineapple slice. Pineapple slice. Mm. I have to say, it was nice, but a little bit on the cool side. Um, usually it's been warmed up. Um, it has been fried but a little bit colder than I like. I'm assuming the tomato is going to be the same. Let's just get the tomato done whole. Yeah, same as. It has been fried, but I don't know how long it was sat there. It was um, cooler than usual, we'll, we'll say that. Um, egg? Egg looks golden orange. Yolk's pouring out of there now. I'll, um, I don't know how much of it you'll be able to see uh, if I just pop it up there. But egg is... There we go. There you go. You, you see that. So, nice yolk. It's uh, white first. Really hot. Really nice. And now, we have to start with the meats. And I think you have to go in favouritism um, order, I think. So, gammon steak. Really, um really soft on the bite, packed a lot of flavour, there was no flavour taken away from that, really really nice jam and steak. This chicken as well actually, I've, I've got to show you this, usually I think this, this is probably the best looking bit of chicken that I've ever had in here, because usually it looks much more pale, but it looks like it's got a perfect amount of crisp on the, uh, on the outside here, so here's a chicken, good on the inside. That is really nice, really nice chicken. Oh, mixed in with the peppercorn sauce as well. You can't beat it. And these sausages, always rated Green King sausages. They look really thick, really nice. And I have to say, I know what I'm getting in for. I think this place does some of the best sausages that you can buy on this budget. Remember guys, Mini Mix Grill, just over nine pounds. 
over nine pound. Let's finish it and give it a score. Finished, full, um, just gonna finish my first beer, take my second one out to the area which I haven't shown you yet, which is the outdoor area, and we'll review that taste. But what I can say is, it's good. I'll just finish this vlog outside. Uh, as you can see, you've got a nice outdoor area, a nice little play area behind me, so bring the whole family down. Now, we have to rate that taste, of course. Now, when I came here, I was actually expecting to um, disrespect the peas, because usually when I come here after work on a Sunday, the peas normally have a habit of tasting like paper, but they're usually the only thing that usually lets the mini mix grill down. Now, today, not sure what was happening, whether it's the time of day, whether it's because it's a Tuesday, whereas usually I come after work on a Sunday. Peas were picture perfect, popped in your mouth, full of flavour, so the peas didn't let it down and I was really looking to give it the highest of the high scores, but what did let it down ever so slightly was tomato. Yes, it had been fried, you could see where it had been fried, but it was cold, really cold, and you know, cold tomato is fine, but it had the marks on it that it had been fried and I was hoping for it to be warm. And the other one was the tinned pineapple. Again, same as the tomato, it had been fried, you could see the marks, but again, really cool, kind of let it down. I put it in my mouth and it was softer than I'd like, no crunch. I think that little, lit it a little bit down today. I was honestly so close to giving this a five out of five, but I'm still, everything else on the plate, absolutely fantastic. Um, I still stand that these are some of the best sausages you can get in a, in a pub, like the herbs and spices in there, really good. Did I ruin it with the um, with the peppercorn sauce? I don't think so, I really liked it. I'm happy to give the taste a four out of five on this one, which brings the total to, and I think it's high, let's see, we had a five service, five time, four presentation, four taste, 18 out of 20, which again, divided by two, that's a nine out of 10, so one of the highest scores on this channel, a nine out of 10, and you can't go wrong with that. Yes, it's a chain, some people might say, ah, oh, you know, try somewhere more independent, and I will, but. Just wanted to show you one of my favourite places, Victoria Cross, love coming here. And again, I think the 9 out of 10 or the 18 out of 20 is highly justified. With that being said, I'm just going to enjoy my second beer. Click the uh, like button if you like this guy, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified when we upload new videos. I'm The Wanderer, until next time, bye for now. Good morning everyone, it's The Wanderer, and today it's going to be a special one. It's not a place I haven't been to before, in fact you could actually call it one of my, one of my reg- Ah, oh, I'll try that again. Yeah. <laughs>